Seb, we have a brush situation. Yeah, we're not super good at washing them either. So we're gonna show you how we fix that problem. So first off, let's say I was brushing a piece and I wasn't quite done and I was coming back to do a second coat. In goes my brush into the Ziploc baggie. We've left them in these Ziploc bags for what? A week, two weeks sometimes, forgot they about smell. them. They start to smell. It depends on the paint. When you use like all natural paint with organic properties, you leave it in there for two weeks. For sure, it gets bad. But the brush can be saved. That brush right there, did not get put in a baggie. It got left in the milk paint in the jar for three days. We soaked it and that's where we're at right we now. We soaked it in water, which water. is a good thing to do. So the reason it's important to take care of your brushes, this is a $28 brush. It should last us a long time, several pieces at least. Which, several, which, several hundred. <clears throat> several hundred pieces. <laughs> this one's probably painted close to that. You can see it's been around for a while. It might be on the end of its rope, but we're gonna fix it. Here is the secret weapon, downy or fabric softener. We happen to have downy, we get it in the gallon. So I'm just gonna put some in here with this. You don't need a ton. You can actually add water and water that down. So I added water to this until it covered the paintbrush and I'm just gonna let that soak. It's gonna sit in there overnight and that should soften those bristles up. We've also got a few others to add to that downy. You can add a bunch, but this brush here, it's, it's, it's like a piece of wood. It got left with sealer, with, on it. sealer with, I think it was Sweet Pickens top coat on it, something. But we forgot about it, you know, got busy, ran, had to run the kid to dance or something. So in the downy it goes. And also these three. <laughs> So we've got a lot of stuff soaking in here. That's why we kind of used a big container. Oh, don't forget that one. Is there room for that? Yeah. There's room for everybody in the pool. So this is about two parts water to one part downy is the mixture we've got going on here. All right, so while that's soaking, let's say your brush isn't ruined. We've got this. You want to tell them about this, Jamie? Yep, brand new. Made by Paint Pixie, the manufacturer of my brushes, comes in scented and unscented. It's all natural, vegan, activated charcoal soap. It has activated charcoal and then oils and water, like organic sunflower, coconut, um, olive oil. And then the scented one is scented with tea tree and it smells really yummy. But this is what you want to use to wash your paint brushes with. It's going to keep them in good shape and condition them. So one thing we always get asked, why is my brush pink or blue or whatever? It's, if you're using DIY paint, especially the Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint that we sell, that is so pigmented, it's gonna, get, it's gonna stay in there. What you wanna do is run water through it until it's clear and you're not getting any more pigment in the water running out. And then it's clean. The soap helps with that. It helps cut that off of there quicker so you don't have to use as much water. So the nice thing about this activated charcoal soap is that not only is it gonna clean it, it's also going to condition it and keep your brush in a nice shape. When you're done with your downy soap overnight, you're gonna clean it with this soap to get all the downy out of there. And then you're gonna wrap it with a damp paper towel and that's gonna reshape it and let that dry that way. So this is a synthetic brush. The downy will work on this but it's not going to be as effective as a brush with natural bristles. Like this one, this is natural and synthetic. All Paint Pixies are a blend, except for their wax brush, which is 100% all natural bristles. Thing to keep in mind with a wax brush, how do you clean that? Warm water, it melts the wax off of there. So warm water and this charcoal soap and it'll clean that wax right off your brush. It's especially handy if you're using like different colored waxes, but you only have one wax brush. So the wax brush is 33 bucks. You want to be able to use that over and over and over. So. And over. And over. And over. <laughs> you want to buy it once and use it for a long, long time. Let's say that. One thing to note is that when we're washing our brushes and we're doing it in our sink, all of our paint is water-based. If you're not using water-based paint, 
that's a whole nother brush care. That's no. not good for the environment. So if you're not using yeah. a water-based um, paint, do not wash that down your sink and stick that into the environment. That's just my little <laughs> environmental plug right there, if you will. Um, just a rundown of the products that we used. We just used Fabric Softer. We like Downy. You can use whatever brand you've got. And then we're washing our paint brushes with the Paint Pixie Soap, either in scented or unscented. I like scented because it smells good. I'm, I'm in all things that smell good. Take a damp paper towel and wrap it around your brush. That's gonna help reshape your brush. You're gonna wanna soak it for at least overnight. I would say soak it in the downy overnight. If it's really bad, maybe leave it in there for a whole day, full 24 hours. But you only wanna do that if your brush is getting real crispy and or you found it out in the garage because you forgot it for a whole week. I don't know who would do that. <laughs> Not this guy. But anyways, so yeah, the downy is your secret weapon if it's all old and crusty to try to revive it. We haven't really found anything that it hasn't worked on. And then once you wash out that out with that charcoal soap, it just reconditions your brush. You wrap it up with your wet paper towel, let it dry, and you're good to go. Go to jamierayvintage.com to pick up your paint pixie sets to take care of your brushes. Be sure to comment below with questions you have on brush care. We'd love to help you out. So if you like this video, be sure to share it with your friends. It helps us out a lot. And hit that notifications button so that way you never miss a video or a live. We generally go live on Saturday nights. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment with any questions you have on brush care, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. All right, the magic of editing. Let's grab this crispy one that had the sealer in it. Look at that. You can see it's moving now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse out all of this fabric softener. This is just a dish brush from Ikea. Now I'm going to use the charcoal soap. This brush is pliable, almost like it was brand new, and it's completely usable. It's ready for a lot more uses. So this brush is fighting me a little bit. You can see I've got it pliable and probably usable again. It's got a little bit of paint left in here. Now this was left in milk paint, just sitting out in the garage and it got really crusty. So I'm gonna leave this in the fabric softener for another few hours now that I've got some of that paint off there and see if we can get down in these bristles and get some of this out. Soften that up a bit. All right, this is the synthetic Palm Pro. It had stain on it. So the water's coming out clear. The fabric softener didn't take the stain color out, but the brush is nice and soft. I'm gonna wrap this in a paper towel so that I hopefully tame down some of these flyaways here and should be good as new.